morning. It's Tommy. I'm here in Stewart again. I am with my wife Darcy there and Aaron over here from Locks of Hatchie Living. But um, we're taking the ski back out. So last episode you saw that um, I did fix the exhaust and all that so no fuel problems. It ran great but I wasn't hitting um, the higher RPMs. So it seemed to me that the I lost a tune or something so I, I put the tune back on it two days ago and we're going to test it out and see and then we're going to do some fishing we'll see you out there Four. My Waves RX anchor, gotta love it, just like that. Waves RX. Hooked up. Now for the sand anchor. that simple we're locked in now we're ready to fish all right so we did the test ride and it, that's what it was it lost the tune somehow I knew right at right off the bat when I gunned it I, I knew the tune took so we're good I hit 74 at one time and then se or 74 when I first left and then 73 coming up the intracoastal here against the wind so I'm back where I was, but we're gonna do some fishing. My wife already took off around the other side of the island where the snook usually hang out. Aaron and I are over here trying to find little mangrove snappers. But it's low tide and uh, we're probably gonna have to move over there where she's at. So I caught something. Perfect. Perfect hook. All right, they're jumping right in front of me. Go. That's a pretty good pancake. Oh, there's something big in this. Oh. There's something big in here. All right. Let's see it. Let's see. Another giant mullet. Oh, those are huge mullet, bro. Yeah, these are too big. <laughs> you want some big mullet? Yeah, these are too big. Is that a catfish? Wow. 
Man, that's a big one. Oh. Wow. <laughs> big boy. Oh, that's a sail cat. Yeah, big boy cat. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I heard they're pretty good, but I, I won't eat them. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that thing's a monster. I haven't seen one that big in a while. Yeah. That's a butterfly mullet. Uh, smacked it. Oh, did you? Yeah, these are too big for what I wouldn't wanted to. Yeah. You're gonna use it for cut bait or something? I'll probably just throw them live on a seawall for these big jackal hit them. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're all light tackle, so we're not gonna Yeah. Can't use that. Thank you. Oh you're welcome. Alright, let me try and catch I'll catch a couple one at least one. And we'll, we can use it as cut bait. Something swelled right here. I don't feel anything in it. There, I, I think I threw it to the left of him. Oh, I got one. We're good. All right, we'll use this. All right. That's a that's a snook. I think it's a snook. Yeah, I believe it's a small snook. Tommy's on. Oh, he just spit the hook. No. Ah. No. Oh, oh. See, just let it soak. Let it soak. Yeah. That was on mullet. A chunk mullet. Yep. Let it soak. Oh. That was that's what's busting all these mullet up. But he was he was too small anyway, so. I still would have loved to land it. That's such a bummer. That's the second snook I've lost out here. I look over and my pet, my pole is bent over. Yeah. Oh. Ah, oh, what a bummer. All right, let's get this thing back out there and try again. So my wife just saw this in the water. It's a horse conch. I believe it's a horse conch. And it's still alive. If it wasn't alive, I'd take the shell. What a beautiful shell. But we'll let this guy go.
called it a day. We couldn't catch anything. I did hook into a snook and lost it about 15, 20 feet away from me. It jumped and spit the hook, but I really wasn't expecting to catch anything because it was low tide and the water conditions were pretty bad. But on a good note, uh, retuning my wave runner fixed the problem. So I was sweating that out for the last week and a half, but I'm glad it's all back to normal. Ready for my uh, next ride in the Kissimmee River. I'm meeting the Waves RX crew next week with JD, and uh, we're gonna do a ride in the Kissimmee River. Should be fun. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.